Hi oh, here we are again. We're going to talk about uh, first torque, then something called center of gravity. Torque simply refers to the spinning of an object, the rotation of an object when you apply a force. So when you open the door, you cause the door to rotate around its hinges. You've applied a torque. Realize when you figure out the torque, you need to make sure the force is perpendicular. For example, try opening a door pushing parallel to it. Doesn't quite work. If you want that door to rotate and open the easiest, you need to push perpendicular to the door. And of course, do it again now, only push really close to the hinges. You're not going to be very successful. If you move away from the hinge, and just like, as you would expect to see a door, right? Here's the, the doorknob, there's your hinges. You're not going to push here. It, the door will barely even move. If you want to cause this door to rotate around these hinges, you need to push as far away from the hinges as possible. And we have a special name. That's called the lever arm. Well, I once had an old truck, and it was very rusty. I had to uh, change out the alternator. I couldn't get the, the bolt loose in order to uh, get the alternator out in order to change it. So I applied it an old trick that you use. I put the wrench on my bolt and I had a piece of conduit that I shoved over the end of the wrench. And I was able to break loose that bolt. Well, why did that work? I simply increased that lever arm, allowing the bolt to rotate. Of course, I was giving it brute force as hard as I could, but I still needed to add in that extra lever arm. And of course, pushing perpendicular, that works well. You look at our picture down below, this person's not doing anything better. They're not farther away from the lever arm. Just because they're way out here, they're still pulling at this location. Balance torques. Remember, a, to a torque is causing something to rotate around an axis. Right now, the two torques are balanced. If you've ever been on a teeter-totter and you've tried to balance it, you've done that. You have balanced torques. But if you look at this picture, mass over here is 10, 20, 30 centimeters away from the axis. But over here, it's 10, 20, 30, 40 centimeters. So what does this have to be? Well, if you remember, torque, this side over here is trying to torque it, meaning there's a force at some lever arm, has got to equal, if it's balanced, this force over here times that lever arm. Well, the distance is 30 centimeters, the force is 20, the distance here is 40 centimeters, the force is some unknown, and you simply solve. Now let's talk about center of gravity. Center of gravity, uh, you can think of it as, wh where's the average? The average placement of all your weight. And likewise, the center of mass would be the average placement of all your mass. Realize that may or may not be in the actual center of the object, at least the geometric center. If you want to find out where the center of gravity is, simply rotate it. And the very center, the part that doesn't appear to move, will be the center of gravity. You can also hang it from different locations. In my picture here to the right, if we put that uh, peg through it and we put a plumb bob there, you'll find it goes through a spot. Pick a different location and we were for to hang this map from that peg and put the plumb bob through, you would find they'd all cross through one location. That would also be the center of gravity. We could have taken this and rotated it, and we would have found it rotated around that central point. You can balance it. Put your finger out and balance it, and you'll find out where that center of gravity is. I mentioned the word balance. In order to stay balanced, that center of gravity, that point, in the case right here, in the Leaning Tower of Pisa, it can't go past the base of support. 
In the case of your feet, when you stand, if you lean forward in your belly button, it's about where your belly button is. It's a little, little, little shy of where your belly button is. Stretches past that base of support, then you'll topple. If you want something not to topple, you have to make sure it stays, the center of gravity stays over the base of support. And you really want to make it stable, you need to make the uh, center of gravity lower. The lower you put it, the more stable it becomes. If you take a look at these uh, cones and how stable they are, it really has to do with work. The more work required to move that center of gravity, the more stable it is. If you look at our middle picture, and you can see the red dots representing the center of gravity, to cause this thing to topple, we have to take and lift that center of gravity up. We have to lift it and move it. As opposed to unstable equilibrium, any type of motion is going to cause this thing to topple over. Neutral, yeah, it's going to be pretty stable, but the movement, any movement's not going to change it. This thing's just going to roll. That center of gravity is going to stay right where it's at.